Welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious pineapple casserole, y'all. Goes so good with your Christmas ham. Mmm. Alrighty, we're going to get started on this pineapple casserole. Now, y'all, if you're fixing to make ham for uh, Christmas, I know we are. We do ham usually for Christmas and Thanksgiving, but uh, this year for Christmas, um, we're just doing ham. We're not doing a turkey. Eat. Uh, at Thanksgiving, we did a turkey and a ham, a small ham. But this year, uh, we're going to be doing a big old ham, and we're not going to do any turkey. But, y'all, if you're going to do ham, you're going to need this here pineapple casserole. Now, it's good. Is it a dessert? Is it just a side dish? I don't know. That's up to you to decide. You can uh, figure out if you want to categorize it as a dessert or something or or something else but i tell you whatever you call it it is good and like i said it really goes well with ham and um it's sweet and savory so all you need all you need is two 20 ounce cans of crushed pineapple drained now i've already got mine drained and here in my um in my big bowl here so you want to drain off the excess juice you don't have to drain it bone dry a lot of recipes calls for drained pineapple uh, to be well drained but as long as you drain the excess off of this it's okay but you, you know you don't want it to be runny you don't want this casserole to be runny but uh 220 ounce cans of crushed pineapple drain i've already got them uh in my bowl here here now you want re uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you want to melt a stick of unsalted butter. You will take half of that unsalted butter, that melted butter, and put it in your baking dish. Now you want to use like a nine by nine or a nine by 13 pan. Uh, either size will work. If you use a nine by 13 pan, your casserole is just gonna be a little thinner, that's all. But um, I have about a nine by nine pan that I'm uh, using. Now I poured about half of that melted butter in the dish and I reserved the other half here in this, because I'm going to use this for my Ritz cracker topping. So you're going to have, uh, it's got a really good Ritz cracker topping, and it's really easy to make. So to this pineapple, I'm going to add a third a cup of all-purpose flour, a cup of sugar. See, it's really easy. Easy peasy. Easy as pie. Simple, simple, simple. And I'm going to add two cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And I just eyeball it, but I pretty much made this enough. I know when, when enough's enough. <laughs> you can add more if you want. I mean, as long as you, you know. So I want to put that in there. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix this up really good. And as you guessed it, this is just your, your feeling. And just mix it until it's well combined. Mmm, y'all. This is, like I said, it's so good with the ham. And that Ritz cracker topping. What's your favorite casserole, y'all? I like broccoli casserole. I like this, but I love chicken casserole. Mommy loves chicken casserole. Um, I like a lot of casseroles, to be honest with you. I like anything with pasta in it, pretty much. And I love stuff with the Ritz cracker topping. And but see, see there, it looked kind of yowler like. All right. Now all you do is you're just going to pour... Pour it right into your baking dish. See? Easy. Easy, easy. And just spread that out. And now, all you're going to do is crush your Ritz crackers. I got a sleeve of Ritz crackers. Y'all notice crackers nowadays. A sleeve of crackers, whether it's Ritz crackers or saltines, a little bit smaller than they used to be. That's a shame. It is a shame. So I'm just gonna crush this until 
get it all crushed and I'm gonna pause the video until I get it all done. And then I'm gonna put it in the butter and toss it up. So you just add the crushed crackers to the butter. Now I mix my cheese right in with my with my uh, pineapple. You can just layer the cheese on top if you want, but I like to put the cheese in with it, and then I put a little extra layer before I put my crackers on. Because you can never have too much cheese. This is my rule of thumb when I cook. You can never have too much cheese. Never have too much butter. Never have too much garlic. Yeah, that's just my opinion. <laughs> so you just toss your crackers until it's coated in your butter. Just like that. I could eat these crackers just like that. I love Ritz crackers as a topping. So you can have a little extra cheese. Put your little extra right on top. So if you, the recipe calls for about two cups of cheese. You can do about a uh, cup and a half in the filling and then layer the top with the rest of, with whatever cheese you want. Don't matter y'all, still be good. All right, so the last part, last but not least. Now you're gonna put this in your oven. You're gonna bake it for about 30, maybe 40 minutes, 30, 35 minutes. All ovens vary y'all. Um, I mean, and your liking varies. If you like something a little browner, you bake it a little longer. I like. I like it to be a little brown and bubbly on the edges, so I usually bake mine. I mean, the recipe calls for about 30 to 35 minutes, which is standard. But if you want it to bake a little longer, you can. If you want a little browner and um, whatever your liking is. So there you go. This going in the oven after about 35 minutes. It should be brown and bubbly. And let me give you a little tip. If it's not hardly, after about 35 minutes, if it's bubbly, but it's not hardly brown, you can put it under the broiler for just a few minutes to get a little browner if you want. So in the oven, it goes, y'all. Now the pineapple casserole is done. I let mine bake for about 40 minutes and it's nice and bubbly around the edges. We'll let it sit for about 10 minutes or so because y'all, it's hot. You took a bite of it now and burned the hair off your tongue, so. Give it a little time to cool off and we're gonna do a taste test on it. All right, Hi, brought on my favorite taste tester. Oh, wow, that's me. <laughs> the one and only. Mm. Hi guys, how's everyone? Yeah. Check, check this out. Pineapple casserole. Pineapple casserole. Smells so good. <sighs> Bless this food. Mm-hmm. You gonna smoke you a good ham? You gonna need this. Wow, that is fantastic. Yeah, it is good. So you categorize this as a side dish or dessert? It could go for either one. I would eat it for either one. <laughs> Cause mm. I like a little sweet and salty. So with like I said, with ham, this would be great. It's gonna scallop taters. It or, would. Put that on the ham and just, oh man. As you slice your ham, put your something on there. You so good. You guys gotta try this. Yeah, I make it, y'all. This is in my cookbook, by the way. So, yeah. Wow. That's good old fantastic. pineapple casserole. I better stop. I'll yeah. eat it all. <laughs> yeah, you really could. <laughs> it's really one of them. You could just have it all going. You could I eat could. it. But look how good it turned out. So don't worry. We're gonna eat all this. So don't worry if he double dipped. <laughs> all you like. I did double you. dip, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We're, we're the ones eating anyway. Who cares? So all the ones that's gonna be like, ah! Yeah. That's all right, I'm more alive and worry about stuff like that, y'all. It's our kitchen, our food, it's just the way it is. Yeah. But anyway, I hope y'all make this here pineapple casserole. Mm -hmm. If you do, you let me know. Tag me at Mountain Cooking with Missy. Anytime you make any of the recipes, you can mm -hmm. tag me with the at sign Mountain Cooking with Missy. And um, it just makes me really happy, guys, to see when you make our videos. Uh, not when you make our videos. Ah, when you make our recipes. Goodness gracious. Anyway, you know what I mean. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy.
Just good, good eating. <laughs> Bye, guys.